going just 48 seconds into this contest. Dunkley Parrott lobs it in deep. Guskov into the corner. Corcoran trying to clear the zone. Windsor having a little bit of trouble with Linda's feed right off the hop here. Only a minute gone. Played around the near side and Stales will just usher it out through to center ice. He was Windsor's first pick last year and it's dialed in deep for the Spits. Here's Parrott in behind his own net. Dunkley will help him out and he'll try to clear the zone. Out through to center ice goes the former front knack along with Guskov into Dunkley back to Guskov on for gold and he's back in the London Knights lineup and now stemmed off by the Spitfires and out through to center ice it goes. Hummed in deep. Larry Anoff's first of the campaign. Windsor's been very good on their on the road here at the Garden Sun home openers. Now sent in deep. So the Spitfires with their second shot of this hockey game beats the goaltender Coy. And they lead it one nothing. Almost five gone in the first break. Sent around the boards, off the glass, knocked down, centering pass out front. Chance to stop Well, Nathan Dunkley does a lot of the spade work in the corner here. He gets it back to Guskov on a friendly bounce, and Connor McMichael is Johnny on the spot as that puck comes off. The Knights, as a 16-year-old, that's impressive. He has the moves. He played last week here at the Gardens and had a goal. Very similar to a young man that wore number 16 here for a few years from the London Knights and now plays for the Leafs. Now in behind the net is Keane. He's another 16-year-old. Duhart takes over in behind his own net. Penalty now has expired. Eight shots recorded for London. Three for the Windsor Spitfires. All tied up at one. Eight gone first break. In deep it goes. DiPietro in. in the season last year. He's paired up with Jacob Golden this year on the second pairing for the Knights. That's a nice pairing for the fact that Golden likes to rush the puck. Parrott doesn't mind as well, but he's more of a stay-at-home defenseman than Golden is for sure. Billy Tarnock will sail it around the boards. He's an import a pick. He's played well in the preseason. He wears number seven for the London Knights. Has the puck now. Plays it up on the left side to Guskov. Now London three on two developing. Dunkley on the dime return feed. McMichael has one for the Knights. First goal. Here's a chance out front. Feathered back to Keane shooting it into the glove. A shop. McMichael out over the boards. Guskov as well. He wears 70. Long stretch pass. Right side knocked down. Stevenson angle. Play fair and across the line. Centering pass knocked down by Ragula. And Dunkley and McMichael two on one. Stevenson trying to get back into the play. And a shot just ripped wide of the mark. Over on the far side goes Goulin. Back to Parrott. Out through to center. Ice Windsor changing in across the line goes the sophomore Parrott. He'll uh, chase it in on his own shoot in. Out along the boards. Kept in though. Hits his skate. And tracked down by Ladd. He'll play it out to the wing. Over here on the near side. Picked off by Dunkley. And across the line leaves it. McMichael. Golden up on the play. Likes the rush. Into the corner. Parrott back to help him out. McMichael half boards in along the side now. McMichael's centering pass knocked down in front of the net. And D'Amico will string it up onto the wing. Out through to center right. Side of the puck between Coy and the Windsor Spitfire on that play. Learning curve for the 16-year-old. Barker in. Well, get it out through to center ice. Right. Knocked down by McMichael. Veteran Corker. Uh, Corker in will push it ahead. That's broken up. Guskov along the far side. Stolen by Perbu. He's a load. And it dribbles into Coy. And well, these are two of the premier franchises since the 2000s. Windsor with the edge of Memorial Cups for sure with three of them in the London Knights with uh, two Memorial Cups since the year 2000. Two glorious franchises 
As we open it up here at the Garden, second period here in London, there's a shot. Slithered right through the uh, top of the paint and just missed. McMichael will just stroke it in. DiPietro will hit. And across the line, that's broken up. Flipped ahead, Dunkley along with Guskoff and across the line. Pushed deep into the corner. Corcoran leaves it there. Piquet, uh, or rather, Kevichet will clear the zone and back out through to center ice. And deep in the corner goes. Pushed around the boards. Guskoff. Lays it back to Timms, and he'll lead the four-man assault. Almost four gone, second frame, 1-1. One, one. Timms taking the shot, didn't get anything on. Of this second period. Yeah, wins there. Look at the shots on goal now. 16 for the Spitfires, 12 for the Knights. So Windsor coming out here in the second period. Having the Knights in, and it has paid dividends. Angle with the shot. And he beat Coy. Straight in. And across the line goes McMichael. Into the corner. Guskoff in behind the net. Well played along the near side. Ladd will spin it out through to center ice. And Dunkley tries to pick it off at the near side where Dunkley has it. The better watch out. Big Douglas is there to greet him now. Lobbed back to the line, lad. Tipped in front of the net by Angle, who just scored for the Spitfires, and Guskoff will try to clear the zone. Dolichanok out through to the center. Ice now drags it up onto his blade, pushes it ahead, and tracking it down is Lad. Lad in behind his own net, stretch pass, Perbu in across the line. Watch him go, and a good play by Timms. To stem that one off, and that will have enough legs. Preston to see if he stays with Tim's all season long. Now playing along the near side. Amico. Nurse 29 up against uh, Guskoff. Cleared out through to center ice. Allen has it for the uh, Windsor Spitfire. Allen will try to clear it in. Broken up at the center ice area. Sarakoff will find a winger in Perbu for Allen as he crept up from his point position. Another shot. Coy makes the save off of Allen. He had a beat of steam going down the center ice area in the Windsor Spitfire D-man. Got the shot away as he did there as he peppered that one at Coy. And Coy will make the brilliant save this time with the left pass. Now McMichael trying to bust his way past one man. And, a and on the draw against to Boca. Morgan was waved out of there, tipped behind the net. Guskoff filters it back to Timms. He'll take the peak now, tipped in front by Dunkley. Knights would like him to score. Guskoff in front of the net. And he just couldn't get the shot away. Now a air mail to the near side. Tim shoots it in front, knocked down by Ladd. Now Guskoff again. Oh, he gunned it just wide of the mark as he had the opportunity from the sharp angle. Windsor bench after that play. Now the Spitz again. In across the line. Cooley with the shot right on. Coy with the save. Windsor now with 21 shots up along the board. Guskoff now. He takes an elbow. Might have got away with one. Dunkley in front. Big move. Put it on Scores. Deep in their own zone as Guskoff gets this puck out into the neutral zone. Dunkley makes a beautiful feed and McMichael just waits. For Di Pietro to go down. The team into a Memorial Cup contender. I'll, I'll tell you something, Rick. We keep talking about the four rookies for the uh, London Knights. The two rookies in the lineup for the... There's McMichael looking for that. Here in period number three, three, he gets the puck into their zone and registers the first shot on goal of the period. Cooley, the other rookie in the lineup. There's another shot. He's played well. Of course, he was originally drafted by the Peterborough Peak. Dunkley to the corner. We talked about it, Rick London off the hop here with pressure. Tim shooting, scores! Tipped in front of the net. Uh, Connor Timms walks the line here, head up, and he shoots it towards Nathan Dunkley, who gets a stick on it high in the slot area. That changes directions on Di Pietro, and he had already committed the night as Billy Moskal records his first of the campaign. London has scored the three unanswered goals. 
One in the late going of the second period, now two in the first five minutes of this third period. They lead it 4 2. Well, it's Chana plays it around the boards for Parrott up on the wing. Broken up by Starkov and Parrott yet again. He's being pestered there by Larry Anoff. Now off the boot and up onto the blade goes the Russian. Out through to center right. Tip free. Starkov brings it up onto the wing. In on the hunt is Foodies. Played well for Windsor. Where's number 93? Poke free. Domico in there as well, hailed off the boards and rattled to the line. And Angelista in on the hunt as well, and Douglas out with it. He'll strum it up onto the wing. Stevenson in across the line with uh, Luke Boca. Boca's checked up. Now it's uh, hurled to the corner. Turco in a defensive role. Tims will help him out. Tims rolls it off the tip of the stick, but he can't clear the zone, and Windsor's the shot just hit wide. Big Douglas in front of the net. Curled back to the line. Windsor on the move. They are down by two. Into the corner it goes. Windsor winning in their home opener last night in overtime. They're swept in front of the net. Saved by Court. Curled back to the line again. Off to the wing. Turco trying to track it down. And finally Ragula will play it back out through the center right. Man rush. 10.52 remains here in period number three. Windsor on the draw, they'll control, but sent to the corner. Cooley will try to find a map. Morgan out there, Boca loses. No, he still has the stick. Thought he lost it. Centering pass out front. And boy, Morgan was parked off that high post and he just missed. Into the corner it goes. Pushed ahead for Dunkley. He's had a good game for London. In and out on one man. Dunkley looking for Golden. Looking for now McMichael. Getting past his man Cooley, but Cooley will steal, but he can't clear the zone. Villachana into the corner. London with pressure here. Dunkley sweeps it in front of the net. Now it's rattled to the line. In Hockey League, there certainly isn't one in the Ontario Hockey League might other than Douglas. There might be some light in a Knights uniform. Yeah, you mentioned that this uh, line has had some chemistry, and of course they've done all the scoring. Out through to center, inside of 10 remaining. Now McMichael yet again for London, shooting! And it goes to the zone. Knocked down by Timps. He's had a good game on the back end for London. McMichael in across the line. Dunkley looking for McMichael, and the shot from a sharp angle just missed. Guskov round out that line, knocks it down at the blue line. So Icing is waved off. Coy plays it up on the right side and knocked down by D'Amico and across the line goes Larry Ann off D'Amico yet again. He opened the scoring here in London tonight. And it's floated out through to center ice. Tap free. McMichael got it in, but Land will take over and Stevenson for the Windsor Spitfires will lead the four-man assault. Out through to center ice. Station. So, Windsor gives up a whack of draft picks, but they have two real good first rounders in their lineup. We've seen it tonight. Now Dunkley's checked up into the corner. Play continues back to the line. Here's Tim's past one man. Tim's looking for McMichael. Shot pepper by Dunkley. And Dunkley almost scores to round out his three-point night. He would have made four. And boy, Deep Pietro got a pat on it. What a save. Here's Regula. Another shot knocked off the blocker of Deep Pietro. He's been busy here. Out through to center. Angle. Tip. No sir. Didn't pick. Stretch pass out through to center again. McMichael knocks it down at the line. They just stay on side. And Tim's yet again for London. Boy's been strong on the back end for the Knights tonight. Broken up, though. The, uh, Kakevichets in along that slot area. Didn't get a lot on the shot. He waved it off. One that linesman had his hand up, and the other one called it off. Played in deep, and that will elapse some more time off the clock with a two-goal lead by the London Knights. About 319 remaining here in regulation time. Good game here on opening night between these two storied uh, franchises. Into the corner it goes. 
Up on the play is Dunkley. Dunkley along the near side, kept in by Foodie. Now Parrott rubs out his man, Cooley. Foodie has it tossed off the tip of his stick in the backhanding. Corcoran will send it in uh, send it in deep. Play it up along the near side. Stales off the bench. He has a burst of steam in behind the net. Now play to the corner. Parrott after his man. Parrott on the right side of the puck. Somebody lost a glove. Fighting off the checking of Moscow. 